Hello friends welcome back i hope you are doing well here i am with a new book today i am planning to summarize brain rules which was written by john medina he is an author and professor of bioengineering at university of washington school of medicine medina has spent most of his professional life as an analytical research consultant and has done some special research on human brain development and genetics of psychiatric disorders This book is broken into series of brain rules on different subjects. This book grabs your interest because you will start understanding how our brain works and how our brain evolves from one stage to another. It basically answers your how and why question not only with the rational belief but also with the science and proper researches behind it. So without further ado let's start the video. This is a book with 12 principles in the form of rules. These principles lets us understand how simple habits can boost our brain power and how to apply them into our daily lives. Here are the key takeaways from the 12 principles. Rule number 1, physical exercise boosts brain power. We all know exercise is helpful for us and we should do it regularly. However, the author provides convincing explanation as to why this is the case. How the brain evolves when you exercise. Our history proves that man was moving, migrating from one place to another in search of food and interesting places. In a day, man was traveling 12 miles on an average. As per our reports, our ancestors Homo sapiens migrated from Africa to South America well before Christopher Columbus. Roughly 12,000 years ago, overcoming the many obstacles of water bodies, mountain ranges, jungles and deserts was a remarkable feat. However, what is even more amazing is their rudimentary techniques and tools that allowed them to build ships, sail and cross the high seas. This was when the wheel and metal didn't exist. Physical activities continue to influence our cognitive abilities. It develops BDNF chemicals and increases the supply of oxygen. Physical activities improves your memory, attention power, problem solving abilities and cognitive abilities. Researchers found that exercise reduced the risk of heart disease by 50% and the risk of Alzheimer's disease by 60%. It is also proved that physically active brain works faster than the lazy brain. You should exercise before you need your brain to function at its best. before any interview or any critical meetings you will perform at your highest level prefer cardio exercises compared to strengthening or weightlifting next rule number 2 our brain has evolved or survival we all agree that man is not more powerful than animal but man is more powerful in terms of thinking and planning as the brain stores knowledge we start to improvise that knowledge our database enables us to become aware of our mistakes and we are able to create new knowledge as a result it is only possible because of human cooperation humans can't do everything by themselves they need family and society's help he will become lonely when he stop receiving cooperation and it will become extremely difficult for him to survive so john says only the strongest mind will survive not the strongest body so for the better evolution of the brain start cooperating with humans by understanding their needs strengths and weaknesses next rule number 3 every brain is wired differently though human brain structures and parts are similar they are wired differently your brain creates these wires based on the experiences and memories you possess The more experience you get the more wires develop in your brain. So try to stop thinking negatively and start thinking positively and creatively. What you do and learn in life physically changes what your brain looks like. It literally rewires it. Moving on, rule number 4. We don't pay attention to boring things. Humans don't remember facts. We remember facts which are couched in emotions. We can easily recall all the strong emotional moments of our lives as if they happened yesterday. Emotions release dopamine. Dopamine which greatly aids memory and information processing. TV ads or advertising is the most concrete experiment to see the effect of emotions rather than details. Another aspect is multitasking. Multitasking when it comes to paying attention is a myth. The brain can only pay attention to one thing at a time. This is scientifically proven fact. We are biologically unable to perform multiple simultaneous acts that requires focus of attention. Imagine for a moment your colleagues or even yourself working on a computer screen where several programs are open, listening to music on the phone always. What happens in your brain when you force it to jump from one action to another? 
As a result, you will lose focus on both actions. Here, author tells us that trying to operate your brain in a multitasking environment is like putting your left shoe on your right foot. So focus on one thing at a time. Next, rule number five: repeat information to remember it. Following various discoveries, two types of memories could be identified. One, declarative memories that we consciously build in general, which we feed into our brains. Example: We announce that this text color is black and sky is blue. In contrast, automatic processing memory is an unexplained and unconsciously known set of abilities that are used to ride a bike, travel to wonderful places, and meet cool people. People usually forget 90% of what they learn in a class within 30 days, and the majority of this forgetting occurs within the first few hours after class. Our memory isn't always accurate. This is because we remember patterns, not facts or single instances. Our brain gives us only an approximate view of reality because they mix new knowledge with the past memories and store them together as one. Three key tips for improving memories are: one, code your brain with emotions. This means if you learn something sad, you will remember it better when you are sad again. Second, repetition. Repeat to remember. And third, mimicking the environment, like creating an exam room setup while studying, give several mock interviews before attending the real one. Moving on to rule number six, music. Music can change our perception and create a smarter brain. Listening to music has reduced cortisol and stress, and it boosts reading ability, mathematical skills, and emotional intelligence. Next, rule number seven, sleep. Sleep well to think well. There are two types of people: early birds and night owls. It doesn't matter as long as you follow your schedule. In this methodology, JM proposes to match chronotypes, which is biological rhythms, with the schedules of study or work. If the schedule changes, it affects your day. If you feel sleepy in the afternoon, take a short nap. Research has shown that it helps us to work for a long time and refreshes our minds. Following the scientific studies conducted by NASA, it has been proven that a 26-minute nap maximizes a pilot's performance by 34%. Another study showed that a 45-minute nap increased cognitive abilities in the same proportion for 6 hours. There are much evidences that the brain has a psychological need to a nap. Moving on to rule number 8. A stressed brain does not learn in the same way. Too much stress is toxic for you. Our systems weren't designed for constant stress. Too much chronic stress can overwhelm the brain and affect your ability to learn and even make you depressed. Humans are unique and therefore different in terms of stress. The scientific evidence for the best indicator of academic success and consequently professional success is the emotional stability of the family. We often make bad decisions when our minds are stressed. Next, rule number 9, sensory integration. We remember data from each of our senses and we learn more effectively if we stimulate multiple senses concurrently. Smells, sounds or tastes can trigger additional associations or emotions and help us to create positive or negative associations with the things we see or do. Can multisensory integration enhance learning? Absolutely yes. When you connect any learning to your sensory organs, the information stays in our memory for a long time. For example, popcorn indicates a cinema hall. Coffee indicates Starbucks. Similarly, some smells and visuals have the power to bring back the memories that are associated with them. Moving on to rule number 10, the power of vision is greater than all other senses. Vision trumps and overrides all other senses. The researchers gloated by saying that the nose smells what the eye sees. Bold colors, orientations and motion capture our vision. We remember images better than words because yeah. it's easier to pattern match the image so use images in presentations next rule number 11 the male and female brains are different well boys and girls have different brain structures and process emotions differently when under stress men remember the substance or general meaning of the things better and women remember details and emotions the x chromosome carries most of the genes involved in brain manufacturing Men have only one whereas women have two. Final rule, we are natural explorers. We learn by doing, by exploring the world. We take pleasure in that exploration. 
Discovery based learning is the most effective. Medical school offers the highest quality of on the job learning. Do we lose our learning abilities with age? Yes. Our neural capital decreases gradually with age. Hence we see more energy and more curiosity in children to learn new things. Therefore, learn and always be curious. That's all about this book. This book clarifies misconceptions and myths that have existed for a long time. Even understood the importance of sensory organs and how they play a vital role in remembering some events. This week I would recommend Shiva trilogy which are Immortals of Meluhas, Secret of Nagas and the Oath of Vayuputras. It is a story of a common man whose good deeds transform him into mighty Mahadev and these three books hold your attention and stimulate your visual imagination. So that's all for today. See you in my next video. Bye.